My name's Mike Sullivan. I'm a former IRS agent and teaching instructor. I worked at IRS over a decade. And welcome to my YouTube channel. They're short, they're sweet, to the point. Uh, the average video is about two and a half minutes, so me and my m, &M man give you a, a big thumbs up for uh, listening to this. Uh, by the way, if you like this, subscribe. One of the things I like to do is just explain to you in short summary things what I'm going to talk about. And so to clear the air and level the playing field so you understand how IRS works without doing a lot of Googling. There's a lot of do-it-yourselfers on YouTube, which I understand. So I want to talk to you today about the IRS collection and billing process. It's important you know this so you can know where your case is in the system, what IRS is going to do next, the next action. I got to write that down, what IRS what IRS action is next because I go ahead as I'm talking um, I go ahead and write my next subjects down to help you so IRS when they get a a, a, a tax return uh, that uh, you owe uh, money um, IRS creates what's called a date of the assessment that's the day IRS puts this on the actual computer system that's called the TC 150 or date of assessment your statute runs that date IRS then generally six weeks later will send you a CP, a CP 2000 uh, letter. After that, generally 501, CP 503, CP 504, CP 1058, and then after that a 1058 or an L 1011. Uh, this whole collection letter notice process takes usually about 20 or 25 weeks. So when you look at the top of that notice, you will you'll know where you're you are in the system. And each letter gets severer and severer. The whole idea is IRS just wants the case closed. When you're getting to the end of that IRS collection or billing cycle, um, you better call them or you're gonna get a bank levy, wage garnishment levy, or and or a federal tax lien. So you want to make sure you're gonna follow up on that last notice. So once again, reviewing the process. Uh, IRS is going to send you your first notice about 25 weeks later you're going to get your last notice when you get your 504 it says notice of levy you're still going to get five or six weeks later another notice that gives you your collection due process hearing and at that time you must take action two things that are very important for you to remember is you want to get all your tax you want to get all your tax returns filed and make sure you're current in the year you're in a lot of people call IRS and they're not filing. The first thing IRS is going to do is they're going to make sure, absolutely make sure that you're current and you have enough withholding coming in to go ahead and, uh, and, and keep current. And then they'll work on the back debt. Have any questions? Boom, you're welcome to go ahead and ask me. I'll make a YouTube. I'll give you a shout out on the YouTube. Thank you. If you think I'm helpful, uh, let others know. Okay, have a great day.